Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Now, normally we're doing reviews of web apps and extensions, but in this video we're going to take a pause and explain just what Chrome extensions are in the first place. How to find them, how to install them, how to use them, and more. So let's start off by explaining what is a Chrome web extension. Well, an extension is quite different from a web app. Um, a web app is more of a full-fledged program that runs inside of your web browser, whereas a web extension is more like a tool that adds some sort of extra feature or extra functionality to your browser. Let's take a look at a few examples to explain this better. All right, so here I am inside of my Chrome web browser, and I've already got some extensions preloaded, so I could show you some examples. Now, where extensions typically show up is in the top right-hand corner of your web browser. Up here, you'll see several icons. Those are extensions that have been installed. Now, they can do lots of different things, and so let's take a look at a few examples. One thing that extensions can do is to modify your browsing experience. So, for example, my first one here is Adblock, which basically blocks advertisements from showing up on websites. The one next to that is called Tab Scissors. Uh, this is one that will split your web browser into two side-by-side -side panels so you can sort of multitask, have one thing on one side and a different web page on the other. And then the next one over is one called Clearly. Uh, let me show you how that works. Let me pull up a, a Wikipedia page here on Google. And um, what you can do with Clearly is if I give it a click, it is going to refresh this page in an easier to read style. So again, modifying the browsing experience. So let's go ahead and give a click on Clearly and you'll see it'll reload it and there we go. And so now I've got the same content, but it's just displaying it in a different way than without that extension. All right. Um, besides extensions that modify the viewing um, browsing experience, some extensions actually are programs, but they're just really little programs, so they don't warrant being a full-fledged web app. For example, here's one that's just a calculator. Give a quick click on this, and a calculator will pop up here. Oh, there we go. There it is. And it's a nice scientific calculator. And uh, again, just a nice simple small extension there that I can bring up any time that I want to use a calculator. Then there are other extensions that serve as a bridge between your browser and some other program, some other web app, for example. So here you have an extension that is the Google Mail Checker. And what it does is it lets me know how many emails I have unread in my inbox at the moment. And if I want to, I can click on it and it will open up Gmail and go ahead and load up my email for me there. All right. Um, the one next to that is one that's called Pixlr Grabber, and what it does is it allows you to grab a screenshot of the page you're looking at, and then it will hand it over to the Pixlr web app program so that you can then do graphic editing on that image. All right. Now, most extensions, like I say, do show up in that top right-hand corner, but sometimes extensions will instead show up in the context menu. What I mean by that is like when you right-click on something. One of my favorite examples is one called Cloud Save. So let's say I wanted to right-click on the Google logo here. What you'll notice is that because I've installed a Cloud Save extension, when I come down here into my pop-up menu, you'll see it gives me options to save that uh, Google image to some cloud storage locations like Dropbox or Google Docs or Picasa. It's a great way to not have to download something first to my hard drive and then upload it later to the cloud. Cloud Save lets me do it right through there, and that is another example of an extension. All right, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what extensions are and how you can use them. Let's talk about how to find and install extensions. Well, extensions are going to be found in the Chrome Web Store. The uh, easiest way to get there is simply open up a new tab and you'll see all of your web apps there. And one thing you'll see is a link to the Chrome Web Store. So just give a click on that and it will open up the Chrome Web Store for you. 
Now, of course, you could also get there just by going to the um, regular address, which is chrome.google.com slash web store, and that will get you there as well. Now, once you're in the Chrome Web Store, you can get to extensions a couple of ways. We can run a search for them. So let's say I come in here and I just want to search for, I'll just type in Google. And what's going to happen is it's going to run a search over the whole Chrome Web Store, which means it's going to look for apps, extensions, and themes. By default, it comes up to apps. So you'd want to click on the extensions button here so that that search for Google is now looking for extensions that relate to Google. So you certainly can run a search. Just make sure you're choosing the extensions button after doing so. Besides doing a search, you can also scroll down on the left-hand side until you see the section called extensions and give that a click. That will now expand that section out and you can see lots of subcategories or you can just scroll through to find all the extensions here. Let's say we go to productivity and see if there's an extension there that we might want to install. Um, we should come across something here pretty quick. Got lots of really good ones in this list. Well, here's a great one, Pocket. I've been using Pocket quite a bit recently. What it does is it allows you to take any article or website that you've come across that you would like to read later on, and it will throw it into a quick um, bookmarked area in the Pocket service so that later on you can open it back up later and read it. It works on your um, browser, it works on your tablets, it works on all sorts of devices. So that's a nice extension to have. So how does this work? Well, what you're going to do now that I found one that I like, you can just give a click on it and you can get more detail. So if you didn't know what all it did, you'll get to see some uh, pictures of it and you'll get to read a details tab about what all it does. You can read reviews from other people and you can even go to a related tab to see other extensions that are similar to Pocket. Well, since I'm already familiar with it, I'm going to go ahead and say that I do want to add Pocket to Chrome. Well, in the top right-hand corner, you're going to see a blue button that says Add to Chrome. We're just going to give a click on that blue button. It will now ask our permission to go ahead and add that in, and it will let you know if there's any special permissions that you're giving when you're doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Add button, and now it's downloading the extension it's installing the extension and sometimes you'll get a little pop-up page to sort of welcome you to that extension and tell you a little bit more about it. And you'll see that now up here in the top right hand corner I have a new icon in my extension list which is my pocket extension. Now anytime I'm on a website like if I was on the Wikipedia article I could click on the pocket extension icon to add that to my collected list of articles that I want to read later. So that's what you do if you want to install an extension. Now what about managing them, modifying them, or maybe even deleting them? You may find out that later on you want to tweak an extension or even get rid of it. Well, very easy to do. If you take your mouse and put it anywhere on top of the extensions up here and give it a right click, you'll see that one option that you get in the pop-up is to manage extensions. Now you can also get to this by clicking on the settings uh, button here, going down to tools and going down to extensions. That will get you there as well. Either way, it opens up this page where it shows you all of the extensions that you have installed. And for each one of them, you've got some options here. For example, you can decide to enable or disable the extensions and even to delete the extensions. And in some cases, you can go in and change options. So let's take a look at Clearly for an example here. With Clearly, I do see there's a link here for options that if I give it a click, I can tweak all kinds of things about that extension. Some allow you to do that. But at the same time, I could also decide I just want to turn clearly off for right now. So we see the icon up here at the moment in the extension toolbar. But if I uncheck where it says enabled, the icon will disappear. So clearly is no longer available even though it is installed. I could recheck enable and now it's back again. Now that's different from deleting it. I could say I want to get rid of it entirely. So if I give a click on the trash can here, it'll say, do you really want to remove this? And I can say remove, and now clearly is no longer up here in the extension bar, and it's not installed either. It is completely removed. So very easy to do that. Well, hopefully all of that gives you a pretty good overview of what extensions are, how to find them, how to install them, how to use them. If you want to learn more about extensions, please visit 
our website at www.webappreviews.org where we will be reviewing the best extensions and web apps for use in the classroom with lots of great examples of how they can be used. Thanks so much for watching the video.